Um, so guys, now I want to talk about um, two things that uh, you should not do. First, don't use these hashtags like for like, follow for follow, like for follow, whatever. These, these hashtags, first, they're really competitive. Second, they might get you traffic and followers and likes, but they're not related to your niche in any way. Um, so you'll basically have bots. Um, they're not helping in anything. They're not going to engage with your posts. And uh, you're just growing your followings without adding any actual value to your account. Another thing is you don't want to add a lot of posts uh, when you reach the point where you're promoting your business. I would say two, three, four posts a day is good. But if you put if you put 15 posts a day, because at first when you're growing your Instagram, you will see that, for example, uh, we will add 15 posts in five minutes and then delete them all at once and then add um, 10 a day, for example. Right. But as soon as you switch it into an actual business, you get to a certain point where your profile is good and you're ready to um, to switch it into an actual business and scale it. You don't want to spam people with posts. Um, all the time people will unfollow you people will lose this respect or credibility whatever they have for your page and eventually um, for your business um, after you get to where you want to get in terms of um, the followings you're ready to uh, grow your business uh, you also might want to remove all the average posts if there are if your posts got for example between 100 to 200 likes and you have some posts that has 12, 13, 20 likes, you might want to delete these and keep uh, the best posts um, on your profile. Uh, because, I mean, eventually it doesn't matter if you have 100, 120 posts or 90 posts. It's not that big of a difference as long as you have your best content on your Instagram page. And that's it for uh, the what not to do uh, section. Um, quickly wrapping up, do not use hashtags like like for like, follow for follow. Don't spam people with a lot of posts as soon as you switch it to an actual business. And try to remove the average posts when you get to the point where you're actually using your Instagram account to promote your business.